Hello guys and welcome to a new Wix demo session. Today in this video, we will show you an example of how we can connect Eventbrite with your own website using API. This can be really helpful if you would like to add and display events that you already created on Eventbrite or simply if you want to share other people's events on your website. Let's find out how this integration works and how it can be displayed on our website. What we see here on this page is a list of events already added to our website using our integration tool. The page also contains custom filters and a map that shows the locations of these events. If you would like to know more about how the filters work or how we can integrate this Google map to our website, please check out our previous videos. Now as you can see here, basic information from each event is displayed on each item. Once we click on an event, we will be taken to a new page where we can see all the details of the selected event retrieved from the Eventbrite website. The description is retrieved as rich text, meaning that font and size of the text will be conserved in addition to showing any images added in there as well. Now that we saw how events are displayed, let's go and see how we can add new events to our website. With the API integration, we made it so simple that all you need to do is add the event ID taken from Eventbrite and click on submit and you're good to go. Let's try an example and you'll see what I mean. Let's open Eventbrite website and select an event we want to bring to our website. Let's choose this one for example. We go to the URL link and copy the ID. Then we go back to our website and paste it in the input field. Then we click on submit and voila. What happens is once we click on submit, the code will retrieve the data of the event from Eventbrite using the ID added, then save it into our Wix database. Once we see the message confirming it was added, we can go back to the events page to see the changes. Once there, we will refresh the page to update the data. And there we have it. We see the new event added at the top of our list of events. Also, you will notice that an additional pin was added to the map. Th that's because we retrieved the address of the venue as part of the data. And using Google Maps API, we converted it to coordinates, then added it into our interactive map. Now let's go ahead and click on that newly added event. We can see that all of the data has been retrieved with the images, dates, and the description as well. As shown before, once you click on the RSVP button, it will display the ticket information regarding this particular event. As a side note, any bookings will be directly connected to Eventbrite. And that brings us to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed our quick demo video and thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Send us your questions to our email address, info at codemastersinc.com or visit our website, codemastersinc.com. Don't forget to check out our previous videos to see what other features you can add to your website and stay tuned for our next demo session. Thank you for watching.